back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, and the battle on the ice should be ferocious as it always is in the American Hockey League here. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The checkers start with possession as we are now underway. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Charlotte's gained possession. And he's ridden off the puck. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Here comes the call. The checkers have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Oh, what a save by Knight. Quick pass to Belzile. Near the point. Hertford's moving it up the ice. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting spread of the puck and turning it aside. Nice job to escape the zone. Nice zone entry from the middle. Good hit on the play. Stone is another one-timer. Here's a short pass to Nash. Save made by the goalie. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Knights well-respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Deming's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. The Wolf Again, it was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the faceoff. After that last shift change where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. And a heads up tip pass over to his teammate. Hartford's got it behind the net. And it's the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. The checkers come up with the defensive zone draw. Moves it quickly over to Dalpy. The checkers looking against the half wall. Made the stop on the play. A shot and another stop. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weed trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. They've got some momentum here. Quick shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Takes the feed. Delphi's got the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Directed over to lead. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Here's the change. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Forces the turnover. Excellent stick work on the play. Great poke check on the reach. Moves it to Hollow. Down to the ice, we got a 
penalty coming up. Let's see what the official says here. Cruz getting called for tripping. spot on the ice. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Well, the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Childs looks around. From point blank. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Throws one up to Nash. Takes a shot. Great save by Knight. Here's a shot. Puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Wolfpack have pushed and pushed, and look at this. We finally got the first goal of the game here just past the midway mark of the frame. Yeah, it hasn't been a really open up two-way game, has it, James? And now they found their offense. They found their footing, if you will, and this is really important. Timing can be everything in the game of hockey. They managed to switch the momentum, but now they've got to do something with it. Stars! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Push back to get the equalizer, and now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Past the midway mark in this period, we got a tie game. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Hoffman's got it in the offensive zone. Backhander, goes off the iron and stays out. Hartford's players getting a little frustrated. They need a little puck puck as well as they've just railed a number of them off the post. True's got the puck. Shot, stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Headman pass. Quick feed to Carlson. Can't complete the pass as it goes off the stick. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick pass to Offman. Moves the puck across to Pitlick. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it over to bleed. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Charlotte's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. He's going to leave the blue paint to come play the puck. Some coaches get nervous for this. Here's a short pass to Asplund. That knocks him off the puck. Up along the wing. Makes a move in front. Denies him. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got 
tripped up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Korshak's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the official's decision. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Here's a chance! Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front! Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You've sensed an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. The checkers take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Uh, you gotta continue to push attack. There's way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You gotta find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. period. The Checkers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. The Checkers will play it from the defensive zone. Across the line. Hartford's got a brief window on the power play with the penalty expired. And he turns that one aside. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Asplund's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The man advantage is over. Coach will be happy with that, James. Didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion, make adjustments based on what they're doing, and this power play unit didn't do any of it. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Takes the feed. Elson's taking it from his own end. Sends the pass over. And they continue to apply pressure here. Through center along the wing. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Moves the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Hartford's had the shot advantage here in this first period, but they still find themselves down. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he had the answer on that play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Brindamore has got it. They'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end.
Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Hartford's had a strong first period, James. I mean, they own the puck. They managed it well. They just weren't able to convert as many times as they wanted to. If they can trust the process and continue those habits, they'll get back in the game. The checkers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it up through the middle for the right. Puts it in the back of the net and just how you light the lamp. He lights the lamp as he buries that one, James. But he knows he has confidence and he shows just that in that battle. Execution, that's how you do it. Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. The checkers have extended the lead to two now here in the second. Yeah, and sometimes as an athlete, you take a bit of a breather here, and sometimes that frees you to continue to play an attack, but sometimes it leads to complacency. You don't want to give any edge to your opponent when you have them down. Charlotte's got it now. Hartford's got the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. And now he moves it quickly to Hollowell. A chance! The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Gets in front of it. Slides the puck to Korzak. And loses possession after a solid hit. Elson's got it in the defensive end. Charlotte's got it against the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Taken along the wall by Hollowell. Slides the pass over to Bullseye. Moves it to Nash. And he hangs on to the puck. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here's the official call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Slick feed, and he loses control of the puck. Slides it on over to bleed. Shot, and he turned that one aside. Knight's gonna hang on for a whistle, and. Staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Turned aside with the glove by Knight. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. True's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The checkers win the draw. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And manages to clear the zone. Moves it quickly over to Nash. And that one's turned away. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The checkers win the draw in their own end. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Feeds the puck up to Elson. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. 
That's another great job on the scores! Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot, pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. The Wolfpack have jumped right back into this one after that goal. Yeah, they've been very effective in the offensive zone, opening up lanes and making sure that it gets through to the net, and they cash in on that one and get within one. And he slides it quickly to Benning. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. And the officials will pass the sentence here. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Puck clears the zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Korshak's lugging the puck. Great pass from off the right side. Big play inside the defensive zone. Asplund's got it along the wing. Fires it! Stones him on the play! Now a quick pass to Asplund. Oh, and another beauty stop right there! Deming's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Takes a shot! Denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Nash is ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Cruz won it off the faceoff. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. They go over on the power play and still trail by a goal. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything, and when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Extra man. True's picking up steam. Here's a shot. Big time stop there. And that pass attempt is deflected. Penalty coming up here. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Charlotte's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. So many teams on the power play, they shrink the zone. Sometimes you have to spread it out, try and get that coverage to move with you. If they go low to high quick, they're gonna open up that point shot. Keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Moves it around along the half wall. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Puts it on net. Stops him again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Nash is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Taken by Nash. Hartford's got the puck against the boards. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. The checkers don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Korzak's penalty is almost expired. Sends the feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Tries to get the puck over to Nash. Gaining momentum up along the side. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Quick shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Domingue. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Hartford's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. The checkers take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle.
past the midway mark of the frame. Just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Cruz won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. That's the Right on their doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The champions are enjoying things in twos. Here in period number two, they've gone up by two, Cheryl. There's been a lot of twos, James, and they'd love to get another couple goals to really pad the stats and increase their lead. But right now, it's about habits, not giving their opponent any life in this game. Shuts the door with a great save. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And he keeps the one out. Puck not loose after that hit. Picks up the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. Childs has it in the defensive end. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And that slides right out to center ice. tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Quick shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Ray Reed comes up with it. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, big time save right there. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. possession after he takes a little hit. Shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there! Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Works it across to Pitlick. Text for poke check by Carlson. The pass in front! And that goes off a stick. Carlson's moving the puck through his own zone. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Scoops up the puck here. Pass across to bleed. Here's a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Takes the puck. Here's a blast. Oh, that's a smart heads up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. The checkers take possession in the neutral zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Hartford's looking to break out. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Elson. Point blank stop by Knight. Takes the pass. And it's a quick pass to Delpy. The Wolfpack have gained control of the puck along the wall. Receives the pass. Forty minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend and get a sneak peek at next year's models from the world's top automobile manufacturers. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Well, this is the portion of the game we like to call crunch time, kids. Third period is now underway. Two thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time, Cheryl. How do you view it? Hartford's put in a strong effort tonight, James, and there's 20 minutes left, so there is some runway to claw their way back into this game, especially when they've dominated possession time. Now, this can be frustrating at times when you feel like you're holding the puck and you're going nowhere, but at the end of the day, it's all about cashing in right now and what you can do in these last few shifts to make a difference. Time. Gets it back. From the left side, takes it at center. Solid check to slow him down. The checkers have it now. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick pass to Hollowell.
Tips inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. And that shot dies in traffic. Trips it on net. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Hartford's had a lot of good looks on goal, but they still trail early in the third. Nash has won the draw. Here's a short pass to Corsa. Scoops up the puck now. Oh, smart heads that play to poke that one away. Moves it to Corsa. Can't get it to go. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And let's see what the call is. Korshak's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Slides the puck over. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Charlotte's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes a bank in front. Gets a piece of it with the glove to keep it out. Asplund's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Great reach with the stick by Benning. Here's a shot. Tremendous play for the team as he blocks it. Moves it quickly over to Nash. And he takes the pass. Horzak's almost back on the ice. The checkers' man advantage is over. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. Knight's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. More than half the period left to play. Charlotte's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Hartford's got it in the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Quick feed to Benny. And he slides it quickly to Asplund. Carries the puck back inside his own end. Hartford's on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Robertson. Here he is from the score! Scores! And just like that, we got a one-goal game! Well, yeah, I mean, it's much less daunting now, isn't it, James? They're within striking distance to get the equalizer. They're going to have to continue to play aggressive and try and layer some good shifts together. Hartford's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Tries to feed it over to Benny. Toss up the puck after that hit. Charlotte's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to True. Hartford's looking to break out of their own end. Gains the zone from the right. Hartford's on the attack. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Lays out the clock. How can he get up? Oh, we got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And a successful clearing attempt. Regains control here in the neutral zone. The Wolfpack have gained possession off the wall. 
Scooped up by Nash. Dismiss that chance. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Trying to clear. And that stays in after trying to play it off the glass. Yeah, and it's tough when you're on the PK, James, and everything around the sequence is good, and then all of a sudden you get the puck on your stick. That's exactly what you've worked for, and you fail to get it out. That can't happen. Here he is, he close! Scores! Go, Shorty! It's a shorthanded one at that! And this could be a turning point in the game, James. I mean, when you're on the PK and you look to attack like they did, that's unbelievable to recognize the opportunity to jump. And man, did they jump, and they end up capitalizing off of it. Charlotte's now up by two here in the late stages of the third. It feels like time is on their side. Time is on their side, but they're going to have to finish it. And it, the clock seems a little thin right now for them. And on the other side, you've got an urgent team. If they can get within striking distance, they'll get their netminder out. Hartford's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. Well, after you give up a shorty on a power play, the next shift is critically important. Finding a way to get back and dictate pace. Coaching staff knows that they need some energy. This next shift is critical. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Knight's been the better goalie in this one, guys. Giving up less goals and therefore has the edge in tonight's game. The checkers will play it in their own end. The Wolfpack have the puck in the defensive zone. Pitlick's going to play it against the half wall. Handles the puck. And he slides it quickly to Mayhew. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Another power play opportunity coming up here. An opportunity to right the ship here on the power play after giving up that shorty earlier. And they'll start with possession. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Pinned up along there. the boards. Picks it up! Here we go! From their own end trying to kickstart this power play. Looks to get the puck over to Korsak. The Wolfpack have it in their own zone. Can't generate opportunities on the power play when you spend the majority of it in your own zone, and the fans certainly don't like it. Well, you have to look at that as a blown opportunity for the power play here at this point in the game as both teams are back at even strength. Frustrating here for the group that went out there, James, on this power play a critical time of the game an opportunity to score and you don't do it real deflating a critical draw here and they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack the wolf pack trying to shake loose he's clear what a save on the play back to the blue line moves the pass in front and that's Just here in the late stages of this frame, up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Knight's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Hartford's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Big time stop! It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Hartford's got the puck inside the defensive zone. 
There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And he gives it over to Nash. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Hartford's looking to break out. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Here he is in front! We gotta stop it just the puck sails over the glass. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Lecision's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Pitlick's taking the puck behind the net. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Slides it over with pace to Mayhew. Fires it on net. Oh, great save by Domingue. Charlotte's got a hold of it along the wall. Let's the wrist to fly. They score! to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Hartford's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Quick shot! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, you know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Delpy. A shot at the empty net! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Hartford's in now. Here's a shot. He gloved that one! Here's the change. Hartford's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances but can't finish. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the ball's under the task here. Gets out in front of it and makes a save. Gloved in front. And it is all over with this one. The checkers filled the net often in the first, but then just really kind of played back and defended the rest of the way. Yeah, and it's a bit of a gamble when you sit back on your heels a little bit too much. You can certainly go the other way, but it didn't for them tonight. They were able to close it up and just find a way to win. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion, and we will say goodbye. She's Cheryl Pounder. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports. Good night.